Hello everyone, this is Vahid and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Power Automate as an Event Streams custom app in Microsoft Fabric. As you know, Event Stream is part of the real-time analytics in Microsoft Fabric and you can use it to collect real-time data or capture real-time events, transform them and route those data or events to different destinations like a KQL database or Lakehouse. In this video, I don't want to go uh, through all the details of the event in stream. I don't want to talk about all the details of that, about the, about the destination of the event in stream. I just want to focus on how to use the Power Automate or create flow in Power Automate and use that as a custom app, as a, as a source of an event stream. So let's create that together. So here I have a workspace with fabric capacity. I click on this icon, uh, which I already created the real time, so I selected the real time analytics. I will click on that again, and you can see there are a few items here, KQL database, KQL uh, query set, and even a stream. I want to create an even a stream, so I will select that one and add a name for that, uh, demo uh, video, and then click on create. It will take a few seconds to create that for us. Okay, so my event stream has been created and is ready to use. So you can see the event stream has three parts. So here, here, and then here. So this section is the source, which I want to use the Power Automate as a source of that using the custom app, and then use the Power Automate that custom app as a source of this event stream this is an event stream here in the middle and then the destinations for the source you can use the some sample data which are already created and you can use them those are real time data uh, some information some data about the stock market some data about uh bicycle and i think the third one is about yeah yellow taxi so you can use them uh, those uh, sources those sample data and test event to stream or test some scenarios you can use your azure event hubs if you have any event hub on azure you can use that as a source here or if you have any iot devices or azure iot hub you can use it as a source as well but i want to use the custom app and then connect power automate to that custom app so i will click on that custom app select the name for that custom app power automate and then click on add okay so that's created but before i move to this day detail uh, tab let's uh, talk a little bit about this destination so if you want to map those data because data will come from here source go through this even the stream transform them and will save on this destinations so you can uh, save those data on the lake house create a table and save the data there or use the kql database or even use the data activator and the name of the item there is reflex to check those data and get notification when the condition happened but i don't want to go through that one i just want to focus here on power automate and custom app okay my custom app is ready here let me bring this up here okay and zoom this one okay so as you can see in the details tab there are three items here those are uh, different uh, streaming meta method or uh, data communication method so even hub uh, am qp and kafka are different streaming uh, method uh, i want to use the event hub here so if you select each of them there are three items here basic keys and sample code in the basic you can find the name of the custom app type of that and the status of that which is active in the keys you can find some keys and name uh, about for that custom app and in the sample code you can find the code for that custom i don't want to use this custom app just in case my custom uh, custom app is ready so let's move to power automate and create that flow so in power automate click on create and then select this instant cloud flow like the manually trigger flow uh, you can change that trigger uh, after you're creating your flow test that and everything good you can change that to any other trigger so name that as a test for video demo you can create i don't want to use copilot here which is really powerful but i don't want to use it here and i will switch to all designer okay 
Um, I need to add uh, the trigger is here. I need to add the first action, which is the event hop. So let's search for the hop uh, here. So I say I search hop and then click on event hop. There are two actions here and both of them are tagged with premium. It means you need to have a proper license in Microsoft Power Automate to use this action. So I will select this uh, event as an action here and first thing first i need to add a uh, set the connection here there is a connection old connection i don't want to use that because i created this custom app a uh, um, uh, few uh, minutes ago so i need to create another connection i will uh, select on this ellipses and then i will click on this uh, add new connection here there are two authentication type access key and microsoft intro id integrated so using this custom app i need to select uh, this access key and then uh, select this connection string primary key click on this i icon and then copy the code <clears throat> the primary key a string uh, string primary key connection string primary key and paste it here and click on create when i click on create the event hub name uh, it, you, you can see it, there is an error here because it can't uh, read the uh, name automatically from that uh, that section from my public event stream but it's okay because i can copy that event hub name here and add, click on this add a custom item and paste it here and that's done so we select we set a new connection here and now we can add the content here and send that content uh, as a data to my event stream so now these two are connected to each other this flow will work will work as a custom app for my event stream so okay so let me just copy paste uh, json i wrote that before so the content should be in a json format and these items here as you can see are the column name segment country product and these items are the value for those columns the text and this one for example for sales is in number this is the column name sales okay so let's test it save that go first click on test manually just continue run the flow and that's successfully uh, completed so you can see this green uh, notification your flow ran successfully those data there and if i select click on this um, even the screen in the middle there is a tab data preview and my data will be there so let's wait for this to be loaded yes b iran iphone 500 e iran iphone 500 works very well so let's test it again with other data just change it to iran australia uh, change the iPhone to RAM and five. Let's remove a zero from each of them and test it again. Save and test. One flow done. So that's done successfully. And here, if I refresh the data preview, then you can see the data is there as well. So let's wait a few seconds. Yes. Yeah, a australia ram and 550 10 1100 same as the data i added here so uh we connected our flow to our event stream we created the custom app and connect and, uh, and connect that to our power automate and now we can create any flows we want we can add any um, any actions there run apis collect data from different sources and then uh save the data and uh, save the data or uh, transform those data in the json format and send those data using this send uh, event from the event hub send event action to our power uh, to our event stream in microsoft fabric i hope you like this video subscribe my channel hit that like button and in close future i will record and share more videos about real-time analytics in microsoft fabric talk more about this event stream how to collect data from different sources save them in the kql database and create a real-time uh, dashboard and report using power bi so till next video bye for now